I survived 100 days on a raft in Hardcore Minecraft. We are stranded on a raft in the middle of the ocean, and our only way to get supplies is from this deadly body of water. During our time here, we transform our tiny raft into a massive island filled with custom biomes and beautiful builds. We get as stacked as possible from what we can find in the ocean, and even take down a glitched ender dragon fight. It was actually really funny and you don't want to miss it. This was a crazy adventure and took a very long time to complete. I hope you enjoy. Now, let's get into it. Well, uh, here we are in the absolute middle of nowhere. Well, uh, I'm not exactly sure what we should be doing, but it looks like there are some items in the ocean for us to collect. So let's grab these and hopefully we can do something with them. We have some string, some cobblestone, some jungle planks, definitely everything we need to survive in the middle of the ocean, right? Well, what we do have is this fishing rod right here. Now, fishing in Minecraft is never an amazing thing because it's pretty hard to get good loot unless you have an amazing fishing rod. But you know what? This might only be our only source of food for now. If we ever... Oh, there we go. Now, I do see this in the distance. So since there's nothing else in the distance really besides that... Maybe it's a good idea to head over there and see what we can find. Now, I don't know much about this map, but what I do know is that it's loosely based off of the game Raft, which I have never played. But the longer we play on this map, the more items will spawn in the ocean, and we can collect them to get more rare and valuable items. But what is this over here? I'm not sure what this is. Even though this is just an ocean-only world, I think it's absolutely beautiful, especially with the shaders. I love looking at tropical coral reefs because... They're just so pretty. All right, so let's go inside of here and... Oh, uh-oh, there's a drowned. Maybe, maybe we can escape him and maybe he won't see us if we get on the other side. But let's, uh... Okay, I'll keep my eye out for him. Let's dig around here and see if there's a chest for us. Oh, it's right there. Oh, sweet, we got ourselves a stone axe and a fishing rod with... Curse of Vanishing. I was hoping it was a good enchantment, but I'll grab this chest and then we have to get out of here because I'm going to drown. Ooh, okay, I think we made it. All right, well, um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Cute little pufferfish over here. Uh-oh, is this ocean just infested with drowns? Hey, we got him. There we go. Well, let's head back to our raft and see what kind of items spawn for us. I really don't know what to expect, so we're going to be figuring this out together. I also want to give a big shout out to my boy Skies for the inspiration for this video. When did we get a copper ingot? Is that from the drown? Can't really do much with it, but hey, I'll take it. Ah, uh, here we go. Well, I guess before I can really do anything, the first thing we have to craft is a crafting table. So boom, we've got that, and we've got ourselves a chest. And that's about it. <laughs> oh, a leaf. Never what I thought in my life I'd get excited about a leaf block. We've got all this string, and we can make wool with it. So hopefully we can get ourselves a bed pretty soon here, because I don't want bad creatures spawning in this world. Okay, there are big schools of fish, which is nice. I don't know if I have to travel farther away to get better items, but it seems like we're getting decent items so far. Oh, there's a barrel. Okay, so now we have a chest and a barrel. And oh, look at this. Oh, beautiful wood that isn't jungle planks, iron, string, coal. What more could I want? Okay, we have two blocks of white wool. And when we're expanding our island, we probably should be using slabs. I'd much rather use oak slabs, though, because oak is just a little prettier than jungle wood, in my opinion. So I think every time we find a barrel, barrels are going to contain the good items that we want. Items that would be pretty hard to normally find in the middle of an ocean. Oh, this one's got some food. In oh, oh, look at this. Well, unfortunately for these trees, you need more than one single sapling, but at least we have some dirt and we can start growing a tree. It's almost nighttime here. Hopefully I can get myself a bed pretty soon. Maybe I should be using jungle planks to expand this since it looks like that might be our main wood source for this. But for now, what I want to do, place that and we'll make a little dirt island for some trees. Okay, well, it's almost night and... Although the sunset is beautiful, I'm a little bit scared. Now, is this an item over here, or is this a fish? It was a fish. Well, hopefully we can easily survive our first night, but I don't know, because it just got really dark really fast. Although, it is pretty peaceful and quiet. It's kind of pretty. Okay, so while it's nighttime, let's make ourselves a furnace. And then inside of here, we can smelt some food, and also this piece of iron. I think they intentionally gave us not enough string to make a bed, just so we'd have to trek through the first night. I have an idea. If I did this, 
Oh, I was gonna maybe compost some kelp, but there's not really any kelp forests around here. I do have other blocks I can compost, but I don't know how many we're gonna be getting of each block, so I wanna make sure I'm very careful with what I use and how I use it. Well, let's do this. Boom, boom. Ah, uh, yes, we got a hoe on this island. I need some sort of food source. <gasps> no way. Look, guys, guys. We have this, we have this, uh-huh, and then we have this, okay, and then we have this, and... Oh, beautiful! We have officially survived our first night on a raft. So I don't know if item spawns are just completely random or if this everything spawns at different times, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm so happy. What is happening? Oh, the dolphin's playing with the item. <laughs> hey, buddy. You're gonna help me swim fast? We. I love these little buddies. It's like we've got another barrel. What's inside of this one? Ooh, more iron. Sweet. Yeah, so I don't know if all item spawns are random or it depends on the time of day or what's going on here, but I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. I'm trying to just work on getting myself a steady supply of food because ultimately I want to be able to not have to fish for everything all the time, but if that's what we have to do, then that's what we have to do. I'm getting a lot of strength. Let's do this. Oh, this is much better. Okay, so we can create ourselves a little dock eventually, but for now, we can just leave this boat here. Now, I really don't know if there's anything for us to explore out in the waters, but it can't hurt to try. Wow, there's really nothing out here. Now, we do have three irons, so I guess that means we'll make ourselves an iron pickaxe, because... I think that's the most useful iron tool to have. And then let's also make ourselves a stone sword. Never mind, a stone axe does way more damage. I guess we'll just do a stone shovel. Okay, I think we've got a good start for ourselves here. If these dolphins would stop playing with my items. So let's pick a direction. Let's go north first and see if there's anything to explore north of our raft in the middle of the ocean. While we're exploring, I just want to briefly mention that these videos do take a lot of time and effort to make, and so if you do enjoy yourself, I really hope you consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel. It means way more than you could ever know for me. And while you're down there, why don't you comment your best ocean-only survival tips? I'm not sure what to expect from this, and so we might have to uh, spend a lot of time in this world if I really end up enjoying it. But it looks like we may have found our official first piece of land. Now, I think the intention is that we don't spend too much time on land. However, I know that land is part of this map on purpose. Well, there were at least screenshots of land on the map page, so I assume we should be here. But after being stranded in the ocean so long, it's just so beautiful, and we have ourselves a shipwreck, which may be my only chance to get the best wood type in the game. Okay, let's see what kind of items are in these chests. Uh, oh, just a book, but we have a buried treasure map too. That's kind of cool. I don't think I'll dismantle this entire shipwreck today, but we might come back here and do that in the future. Oh, look at this. Wow. That's a lot of really good stuff, actually. I'm glad we came here. And we got ourselves some leather armor. Definitely don't want the Curse of Binding. I just want the Aqua Affinity Helm. This will definitely help in our underwater adventures. All right, I think that's all of the chests in this shipwreck. Let's keep looking around here if there's any good items. Now that we have all this iron, I definitely want to make myself a shield because I have no idea what to really expect in this map. And I want to play it safe. Anything inside of here? Besides a drowned? Oh, sorry, buddy. Okay, we have lure one this time, slightly better fishing rod, a nice little upgrade. But it doesn't really seem as though there's anything for us in this island besides a ton of sanded sugarcane. The sugarcane might come in handy if I ever have to enchant some items, but I'm not sure if there'll even be a way for me to get leather because I don't think there's any grass. At least not that I know of. Getting dark, I want to get off land because I think some bad things are going to spawn, so I want to head back. I know we went north initially, so going south should get me back to my raft. At least this world is very beautiful. Is this not our raft? Oh, I thought this was our raft. Ooh, we got another buried treasure map. I've got to check these out. Is that our raft? I think that is it. All right, well, we're kind of loaded with iron now, but it doesn't seem like I'll really need a shield, so I'm just going to make myself an axe. Is it even worth it? Seems like it's much better than a stone axe. I guess we'll stick with stone axes for now. Well, I opened the buried treasure maps, but now, now they're just maps. Okay, that's weird. It just might not work because it's a custom map. All right, we've got this new barrel. Let's check it out. Oh, okay. Just our pretty normal items. We're actually getting way more iron than I thought we would. And I have enough crops for a pretty big farm, but I'm not sure where I would put it. Wait. Oh, gosh. I can't get rid of it. No! 
Oh, yes, I can. But one of the main reason I'm fishing so much is because I want to try to get some enchantment books. I'm not sure what kind of items we can expect from barrels in the ocean, so enchantment books might be our only real way to get some really good items here. Plus, it's a good source of food and other fun items. I got some lily pads, some water bottles, and who knows what else we'll find. Someone please give me one more jungle sapling. Please. I feel pretty good about all the amount of iron we're getting, so I'm gonna make myself a chest plate. Oh, no way, we got ourselves an oak sapling. So let's try to put a jungle tree right over here, and then over here, I'll try to put an oak sapling. Now, our island definitely isn't the prettiest, but hey, I like it a lot. Oh, wonderful, our first big tree. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna grow many jungle trees, just because oak trees are definitely a lot prettier. And so when building my island, I'll probably use more oak trees, but this jungle wood will still be useful to make sticks, I can make some charcoal. Who knows what I'll make. Why did it suddenly get very dark? Oh, sweet. Now we have our oak tree. I don't know if it's supposed to be raining right now, but I do kind of like the dark atmospheric vibe we're getting. This is kind of cool. Well, I wanted to build a little platform for my trees, but uh, I messed up a little bit because it's clearly not symmetrical. But you know what? I'm almost out of wood, so I'm going to let these trees grow. And then after they grow, we'll break them. And with all of that wood, we will then make a new platform. Now, I'm not sure if me placing blocks is going to interfere with the items spawning in the water. So what I want to do is keep most of this water, or at least where I do have water, I might replace with glass because it seems like our two main resources are going to be oak wood, but also glass from the giant sand islands we have. But while I was making that, you may have seen I collected some barrels, and uh, this one has some pretty standard stuff, you know, dirt, iron, coal, but this one had something interesting. This one had obsidian. So, with this, this officially means that uh, we can get obsidian. So I guess we will eventually have a chance to go to the nether, which I think is pretty cool because the nether is going to be very useful for us to be able to get a lot of really cool items that are going to be pretty hard to get here. I'm not sure if there's a custom nether for this map or it's just a normal nether, so we'll have to find out. Something that's really embarrassing is I've been a Minecraft YouTuber for like five years now, and I totally forgot you could just plant singular jungle saplings. Now, I want to start making a really pretty island, so why don't we go to another sandy island and collect a lot of sand? We've got a lot of coal so we can just smelt the sand into glass. Okay, I think we got ourselves a, a decent amount of sand. I went through both the iron shovels and the stone shovel. Hopefully this will help us make a pretty cool looking island. I'm really excited. But then again, I can't seem to make a basic circle, so who knows. Okay, so hopefully we can smelt all of this sand and at the same time while this sand is smelting, let the trees grow and maybe we can fish a little to get some good items. Yeah, one of my top priorities, if possible, is to get myself a good fishing rod, because after an entire Minecraft day of fishing, this is all we got. Well, we did also get this barrel from the water, so let's check this out. No, okay, this one, this one's pretty good. I'm okay with this. This one, this one is pretty cool. And we're getting ourselves a really good amount of glass. I just want to get more obsidian so I can get to the nether. Or at least some diamonds, that'd be kind of cool. Well, we've got enough iron, so maybe it's time to allow ourselves to upgrade it to an iron axe. Finally, just because it's a little fast. Alright, sweet, let's collect this wood here. I'm not the only one that absolutely despises jungle wood, right? Like, it's just a really ugly color. I don't know, the shaders make it more tolerable, but let me know down in the comments below if you like jungle wood, because personally, I'm not a big fan. But it's not nearly as bad as birch. So my main goal these next couple of days is just to hopefully get enough oak wood that we can finally build ourselves a mob farm. But we're gonna need a lot of oak wood for that because we need a spawning platform. But we can make all of that out of wood. The only other thing I really need is water buckets and we can easily make that out of all the iron we get from them. Oh yeah, we've definitely got enough oak saplings now. We have so many. Okay, while we let these grow, why don't we check out a new direction? Because I still want to see if there's anything else. So how about this time we go far south and see what there is for us to discover. Okay, well, it looks like we have another sand island here with another shipwreck. Truthfully, I have no idea if there's actually anything for us to explore in this world or if it's all just shipwrecks, but it looks like these might just turn into random maps again. Yeah. Oh, but looks like there's a lava lake nearby. Now, I believe there is a chance for us to actually get some pretty nifty loot from these chests, so they're definitely worth checking out. I'm gonna throw out these boots before I accidentally equip them. Uh, looks like there's another shipwreck. I feel like I'm almost cheating. Like, being on land just feels kind of weird, but I guess if the only thing to collect is sand and boats, it's not too bad. 
Because I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get diamonds unless that's going to come from barrels. Ooh, oh, oh, that's a lot of iron. Heck yeah, I'll take that. Well, we have lapis and we're going to get obsidian from uh, barrels occasionally. So it looks like we will be able to do at least some enchanting. Ooh, and we got some moss. So maybe we can make ourselves a pretty island. No grass yet, though. But moss is a good start. All right, we have three new barrels. So let's see what's inside. Okay, this one's pretty standard. We have iron, coal. Always good things to have. Uh, ooh, this one has some more obsidian. Okay, I think going to our nether is going to be uh, our first priority. Instead of, you know, making a crafting table or something. Did I say crafting table? I'm an enchanting table. And more coal. <gasps> oh, and a spruce sapling. Yes, okay, let's, let's plant this immediately because spruce... Oh, the best wood in the game. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry, oak. You're going away for now. We need spruce. Yeah, look at that bad boy. Ah, oh, this island is going to be great. Well, actually, this island is a little lacking, but it'll be great pretty soon. So, seems like we now have a uh, a lot of stuff. <laughs> so, with all this stuff, why don't we expand our island? I think what we've got here at the island is pretty much all we have because I went on my boat and explored for a few thousand blocks south, and it's just the same thing. It's a lot of sand, a lot of water and a lot of shipwrecks. So it looks like that's all we're going to get. Nothing else beside that. So we're all on our own. Ah, here we go. All right, so we've got this platform finished here and this first platform I think is going to be for my starter house. And I added the leaves just because the uh, the oak planks directly on the water is, this is a bit of a harsh contrast. Whereas when we have the leaves, I think it's much prettier. And then over here, I built these two wide docks because boom, that allowed me to perfectly fit my boats, meaning that I can now grab my boats, easily access the water, and then come back home whenever I want. Now, unfortunately, I do have a feeling that by placing blocks directly on the water and not maybe one or two blocks above it, I have interfered with the spawning of blocks around me. Because ever since building these few platforms, it seems like much less is spawning. I'm getting a lot less leaves cobblestone wood, but most importantly, barrels. Maybe you only really get barrels early on, but as long as we get enough barrels to head to the nether, I think we'll be okay. Once we can get to the nether, we'll have access to potions and potentially nether fortresses and piglin bastions, which will give us a lot of the loot that we're really gonna want. I'm not necessarily determined to, uh, you know, get full, fully enchanted diamond in this world, but it would be nice to at least get some pretty cool armor and maybe take on some boss fights towards the end. Ah, uh, but I'm glad we've got our first platform down, so I think the next steps here are just a bit of a waiting game to gather enough wood not only to make a mob spawner but also so that we can make ourselves a starter house i think we do actually have um enough stuff for a mob spawner now so maybe we work on that Ooh, acacia saplings okay looks like we're still getting new stuff from these barrels ah wonderful we can plant these spruce saplings so that they can grow while we're making the mob farm and then hopefully by the time we're done with the mob farm We'll have enough spruce wood to make a pretty cool house. I really don't want to make a house out of just oak wood and jungle wood, so uh, having a lot of spruce wood is going to be good because we'll be able to make a really nice looking house in the middle of this pretty uh, ugly ocean. Well, the ocean isn't ugly, don't get me wrong. It's just, uh, I don't know, a little lackluster. There's not much here for me. I really wish I could get a piece of grass, though, so that I could get some mobs. All right, we have successfully finished the mob grinder. Here it is. It's uh, not the prettiest, but you know what? It worked. So these mobs should be one hit away from death. And to make my life easier, I'm going to make myself a sword. I was keeping the iron axe because it does more damage, but with the sword's little sweeping edge effect, it should make my life a lot easier. Now, if I also wanted to be smarter about this, I could put some chests with hoppers, but I just don't have enough iron for all the hoppers right now. But hopefully I will soon. So uh, yes, there we go. Unfortunately, I had to use pretty much all my stored wood to make this, but it shouldn't be too hard to get some more. But now we've officially got a source of all the drops we can get from hostile mobs, as well as uh, we can get some XP, so it'll act as an XP farm. It's not going to be very efficient at all, but hey, it's something. Oh, you know what? From these few barrels we just got, we might actually have enough iron so that we can complete this. I wanted to put this farm sort of on the outskirts of the island because mobs won't spawn if you're directly in their spawning platform. You actually have to be a little bit away. So I figured while I'm spending time over here and whatnot, I can let the mobs spawn. And I did make the roof high enough intentionally so that Endermen would spawn. And uh, they might whoop out onto our island. But you know what? It's no big deal because we can still take care of them pretty easily. 
And if they hurt us, we can just jump in the water and it should be pretty easy to take them out. Well, hopefully I don't die. And I also have to be careful that I don't let any creepers explode. But as you can see, we should be okay. And then I can just hop in the corners like this and collect all of the drops we want. Okay, so I would like to go to the nether soon. The only issue is, there's going to be a lot of things in the nether that are gonna try to kill us. And I really don't feel like dying right now. Plus, I didn't realize Endermen could so easily escape my farm, and they do way too much damage, so I wanna gather some protection. I think the best way we can do that is by searching for shipwrecks. According to the Minecraft wiki, there is about a 14% chance that diamonds will spawn inside of a shipwreck chest. But even if they don't, we will still hopefully get ourselves lots of iron. So I think searching these shipwrecked chests are probably the best way for us to get some good loot. Unless there's diamonds in this barrel. Please have something good for me. Well, so I'm hoping if we search some shipwrecks, we can get ourselves some good loot and get armored up before we do more exploring and building in this world. So far, everything's going really well, and so I don't want to mess that up. I've also really got to get working on a house, or at least some sort of storage system here. This is looking rough. Before we head out, let's gather all of the iron we have. Okay, you know what? I've actually got a good amount so far. And I'm also going to make a shield just to be safe in case we get into any bad situations. Okay, well, you know what? We're pretty prepared already, but let's still head out and see if we can hopefully find ourselves... Some good items to bring back to our island. Okay, let's travel west. I don't think I've really explored too much in this direction before. Oh, wait. I want to bring a bed with me. Well, it looks like there is some small islands and a shipwreck right here that I didn't even know about. All right, please have something good for me. Be very careful about this. I don't want to drown. So I don't really need the iron, but the gold is useful because I'd like to at least bring one piece of gold armor with me to the nether, just to make sure the piglins aren't going to target me. Okay, every time I collect suspicious stew, I just like to see what effect it gives me. Oh. That was not a good one. Let's keep on our adventure. This doesn't even look like much of a shipwreck, it's just kind of a ship. Ooh, okay. The emeralds remind me, hopefully we get a zombie villager in our farm and we can convert it to have ourselves a normal villager. Come on, I just want a few diamonds. Ooh, we have bamboo now. That's actually going to be pretty good. We can maybe do some fun stuff with that. Ooh, give me a diamond. Please give me a diamond in here. We have to break our way in. Ooh, a clock. Okay, that's kind of interesting. There literally was nothing else in that shipwreck. I really hope we get a good chest soon. I just desperately want some diamonds or at least enough gold to make a little bit of gold armor and a golden apple would be nice. Once we're in the nether, we can get everything we need for potions, but I still need a golden apple if I want to get myself a villager. Okay, well, it's kind of embarrassing, the poor luck I've had, but I think we're all set. From all of the barrels, we had seven pieces of obsidian. So while I was out, I actually transferred some of the iron we got into buckets. And I collected some lava. I also made myself a flint and steel so that we can officially get to the nether. Now, I'm not much of a speed runner, and so I've never really done this before, but let me try to do this over here. So I should be able to go like this. Okay. And like this. Okay, we have our first two parts of the portal. And then we can make the corners here. And I think I just need to do this. Yes! Okay, there we go! We have a nether portal! But before we go in it, before we go in it, let's get ourselves... Hmm, let's do this. Well, I unfortunately do not have enough gold at all to really make anything, but I can at least make an iron helmet and keep myself as protected as possible. Alright, well, let's head to the nether and see what's going on. I'm really scared because I hate going to the nether without ample supplies, but I really don't know what else to do to get stacked. We're just not getting enough from these barrel spawns. Okay. Here we are. So the nether will actually be really good for getting XP, even though we've got our XP farm. Because quartz gives such an ungodly amount of XP, it's actually going to be pretty crazy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I can't go that way. I'm pretty sure hoglins can kill me in two hits, even if I had netherite armor. So I don't know how much damage they can do with iron armor. Buddy. I'm just passing through. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, take that, buddy. Yeah, how do you like that? Is there anything over here? Nope, okay. I'm basically just checking out all of these little tunnels around here just to see if they really lead anywhere. I don't think so, but I never know. Very careful. Lead to anywhere? Oh, oh, 
Oh, oh, well, uh, isn't exactly safe, but, uh, it's, it's somewhere. Let's try to make a safe landing down here and see if there's anything for us. So, I don't know if this is a good plan at all. It's probably not, but basically what I'm planning on doing is hopefully just finding myself a bastion or hopefully even better, a nether fortress. And uh, from there, we can just jump in, you know, steal some items from the chests and jump out. I'm really just desperate for loot. If this doesn't work out, our only other option is to travel really far away to another sand island and then just hopefully from there, um, <laughs> get ourselves a little bit of loot from mining. But that's still not ideal. Okay, wait. There is? There is? Right there. Oh. Yeah, I can speak. The only thing is, I'm not sure if this is safe for us at all. Not only do I have to worry about, uh, piglins, but I also have to worry about blazes now. And those aren't going to be fun to deal with at all. I know I'll have to fight blazes eventually, but I was hoping that wouldn't be until I have much better armor and weapons. I mostly just want diamonds to make an enchanting table, honestly. Is there any loot for me here? There are no chests in this fortress? I'm feeling really unlucky today. Yeah, most of this fortress doesn't really seem to lead to anywhere except dead ends, so I wonder if more of this fortress is in part of the map that we can't see? What if we try over here? Wow, this world just really wants me to fail. I've explored hundreds of nether fortresses in my days, but this is the first one that I've explored the entirety of it, and there's not only no chests, but there is absolutely no staircase with nether ward. It's literally just an empty fortress with a few blaze spawners. That's it. Man, what am I going to do? This world is trying to kill me. Like, at least give me one chest. Come on. I swear I've searched all these hallways like four times, and there's just literally nothing for us in any of these rooms. And I'm almost out of food, so I think we should head back. Thankfully, our portal isn't too far, but... It's still a bit of a journey. Well, dang, this map is just being so harsh to me. Maybe it's for the best. Maybe we're not meant to explore and find good loot until we make a bit more progress. Bye, buddy. I'll let you stay down there. Okay, well, this map seems to really hate me, so before we continue on this island, I think we're going to have to do some mining. Okay, I'm preparing with all the food I can get because I'm not sure what we're going to need, and we'll also make some torches. That should set us up for a successful trip. And then once we get some supplies for mining, we'll make ourselves a house, finally. All right, let's sleep the night away, and we should be ready for our trip. I really just want some diamonds, man. That's about it. Okay, I don't believe I've gone east before, so let's head that direction and see if we can find ourselves a good mine. We obviously checked out that little structure right there, but we haven't done much more besides that. All right, inside of here is a cave, so I wonder if it can take us anywhere. Check it out, I'm not sure. Oh, it's an underwater cave. Never mind. Truthfully, my favorite activity in Minecraft is digging straight down just to prove to people that it's gonna be okay. Well, uh, okay, I guess we're gonna have to do this. Oh gosh, no, I need to break this furnace just to get down to my pickaxe. Oh, I really messed up here. I really messed up. Okay, well, let's continue. Oh, I don't think I've gotten redstone yet. This is nice. I don't know if I'll really do anything with it, but hey, I still like to have it. Oh, and uh, here we are. Anything in this cave for us? Oh, we have a geode. Not gonna go down there just yet. Let's collect some stuff from this geode just because I think it'll be pretty. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I didn't really mean to do that. Okay, we got him. And look how pretty this is. I love geodes. Okay, well, first, let's grab these diamonds because finally, finally, we found some diamonds. Oh, yes. This is beautiful. Oh, and there's more. How many is there? Even if there's just three, I'll take it. Unfortunately, I don't have enough uh, obsidian for an enchantment table, so I do need to make a pickaxe before we do any enchantments. But hey, that's all right. I can easily get more obsidian by... Uh, Going into the nether and using lava buckets combined with all the water we have around. Whew. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything else here, so let's keep moving through. Be very careful in this cave, but hopefully it'll have some good stuff for us. Try to handle one mob at a time. Oh, it's a big cave, but uh, there's a lot of... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, we got them. Oh, he's got armor? What? How did you get armor? Where'd you craft that, bro? Okay, we got him. We got him. There's just so many skeletons and creepers. Like, how does this even happen? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Where do I go? Where do I go? Oh, no. Oh, boy. I'm doing good so far. I'm 
Okay, he shot me. He shot me. And we're going to run back. We're going to run back and we're going to eat. Okay, okay. I think we're doing good. I think we're doing good. We're okay so far. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Come on. Come get me. Come get me, buddy. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run. I want this cave. But, oh, nope. We're going to run the other way. We need to run the other way. Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm being stupid. How are there so many mobs? What's going on? Oh, yeah. Fight it out. Yeah. Yeah. Take that. Take that. Oh. Oh. Oh, thank you. Now let's try to run through here. There's just so many creepers and skeletons and there's there's like nothing else. I don't know why. I don't know how that happens. Okay, we have more diamonds. We just need to light this up first. Okay, we've got this mine shaft here. Uh, Maybe there's some good stuff in here for us. Let's just try to go through all of this quickly and see if we can loot the chests because I don't really need anything else from here. And uh, I really don't want to die. I'm very scared of this cave. Ooh, what's in here? We got our first golden apple, so that's good. I'm going to keep it in my health bar just to be safe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Where do I go? Oh, nope. Why? There's so many creepers everywhere. How do I escape them? Man, this does not feel right. They're just everywhere. Well, we didn't get a ton from that trip, but you know what? I'm happy with everything we got, and we actually have the perfect amount of diamonds. Three diamonds can get us a diamond pickaxe, which we can use to mine obsidian, and then the last two diamonds can be used to get ourselves an enchantment table. We've also gotten ourselves a lot of books from some chests from shipwrecks, so I'm wondering if we can even make some bookshelves, but I'll probably just start off with simple level one enchantments at first. Okay, so here's what we can do. We can do this and go like that. Okay, okay. Then we head inside the nether. There we go. We got the obsidian. Oh, hey, buddy. Well, we've only got 11 books, but you know what? That's still a good amount. Aha! Here we go. We've got it. Okay. So, I think the best thing we can do to protect ourselves right now, just to get a little bit of an edge, is to give ourselves the lowest level enchantments just for a bit of extra protection. Okay, sweet. I gave myself some fresh iron and we're looking good. I just don't know what our diamond supply is going to look like, so I want to make sure that uh, I don't use my diamond pickaxe for everything. I want to stick to this iron pickaxe, just in case we need the diamond pickaxe for something really important. But after these enchantments, I'm feeling much more confident in my ability to survive this world, and hopefully we can have some pretty cool stuff going on pretty soon. Okay, let's just try to get some more wood, and I think we can finally get started on our starter house, and hopefully make it look pretty good since we've got a much larger collection of wood now. Dang, I know I keep saying it, but this world looks so pretty with the shaders. Well, let's, let's get the random floating items out. There we go. For anyone curious, I'm using the BSL shader pack. It's definitely my favorite. So everything took a little bit longer than I expected. But we finally have ourselves a house. Not only did we finish the house, but I finally cleaned up this walkway a bit and we got rid of that ugly middle section that was just just making this whole island look um really ugly. So I'm really glad that we're finally making good progress here. But anyways, here is the house. We start off by walking onto the little platform and I have trees and lanterns just to liven the place up. I think we need some light, but also the trees really, really help because... uh. They make everything look so much better. I also have intentionally made a lot of things out of glass and leaves, not only because that's pretty much one of the only resources I have, but they do prevent mobs from spawning, which helps to keep my area safe. And then for the platform, I didn't want a house that took up the entire platform because we obviously have different directions to go. So instead of building sideways, I just decided to build up. So we built ourselves a platform and underneath this platform, of course, to the right, we have multiple different storage areas as well as some of our utility benches. And then right to the left here, we have a carrot farm. I just decided I want an actual source of food I can rely on instead of just fishing or collecting random things out of barrels. This works a lot better. Of course, up here we have our fences, another storage thing, and then we have some more chests for some more storage and our bed where we can look out the window to the beautiful docks or to the beautiful trees or the not so beautiful mob farm. But I also really wanted to uh, use a lot of barrels in this build because I think the barrels really fit the theme of this weird little like fishing island we've got going on. But what's nice is they're sneaky storage. So instead of having one main storage area, my storage is just kind of spread throughout the island. So I've got a really fun plan going forward. I feel like we're finally at a place where I feel pretty protected. You know, we've got enchanted iron armor. We have a okay sword. We have a shield. I might replenish our shield though. And I feel like we're pretty strong, especially with our two golden apples. So I think it's about time we head back to the nether. Now, the main reason I want to head back to the nether here is because I actually think this would be a good opportunity 
for us to finally, finally get ourselves some potion making supplies. We're only about a third of the way into this hundred days, and so I think it'd be really cool to uh, set ourselves up some villagers. I really liked how adding a lot of trees made this island look very lively, but I was thinking, how could I make this island look even more alive? And I think the best answer to that question is by adding villagers around here and giving them villager houses, giving them jobs, so that this can be a fully functioning community. It can be a fully functioning city in the middle of the ocean. So what we need for that is a golden apple, which we have, but we also need some potions and, of course, a zombie villager. I have high hopes we can hopefully get a zombie villager from a... Uh, this little farm right here, which seems to be full of deadly creepers. Or if we need to, we can just make ourselves a hostile mob spawning platform. Okay, I'm bringing a little bit of cobblestone with us just in case we have to build some platforms. So, uh, I think we're all set to head to the nether and hopefully, hopefully, get ourselves some potion making supplies. Actually, I lied. Let's make some gold boots so piglins don't attack us. While I'm here, I'm also going to try to collect some quartz for a good amount of XP. As well as quartz might be fun to help, uh... Change the small and limited block pad that we have for our village. Uh-oh. Are we good? Oh, is he stuck right there? No way. Oh, I don't think you can get out. I'm sorry, buddy. So, I was thinking about something. I was showing off this world on my Discord server, and someone asked why I'm not utilizing mining more, or maybe making a mob farm underground, or just mining for all my resources. And so if you're asking yourself that question, I would just say that since this challenge is 100 days on a raft, it just feels right to me that I try my best to get as many resources as I can from the ocean. So really limiting my exposure to the land or underground and trying to get what I can from the limited resources we have. I think it adds to the challenge and makes it more fun. Is that what I think it is? It is. Oh, 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 what? Oh, oh, <laughs> that was not good. I mean, thankfully I'm safe, but... Oh, that was so close. I'm so stupid, I, I would have died. I mean, maybe I could have eaten my golden apple and it would have saved me, but I almost just lost this world. I've already spent like 12 hours in this world, so I don't want to lose it. But here we go, another nether fortress. So hopefully this one has much better luck than the last one. Or maybe we're just going to die from these hog boys. Nope, never mind. Uh, don't really need any of this, but you know what? We'll take it just in case. I don't even think it's possible for us to get a horse in this. Oh, come on. Ooh, that's better. Here we have it. Yes. Oh, I don't have a shovel, but you know what? It's okay. I'm just excited. We finally have nether wart. Potions are going to be really handy in this world, especially because I do believe, I do believe there is a stronghold in this world, which means we can actually defeat the nether drag, but I don't know if that's going to happen. We'll have to see. Okay, I really don't need all these chest plates. I'll bring one with me, I guess. <laughs> Alright, I think I've explored this fortress as much as I can. So, it's probably time to head back because I don't think there's anything else here for me. Before we head back, I'm just searching around a little bit more for a few more quartz to mine. I'm not sure if quartz will go well with any of the blocks we have available. Maybe stone brick? I don't know. If any of you guys are nice builders and like to build with quartz, what other blocks would we have available? that are nice to use with quartz. Or at least blocks that would be easy for us to get stranded in the middle of an ocean. I don't know. Yeah, let me know your best quartz block pallets. All right, back on the island, let's count over everything we got in the nether. Honestly, what am I supposed to do with all of these saddles? Just throw them away? That feels wrong. I don't know, we'll figure it out another day. Just for now, I'm gonna plant a little bit of this uh, nether wart around here, just because I don't think I'll need a lot, but I don't really have anywhere else to put it, and so it'll be nice and uh, hidden <laughs> back here, so I won't have to look at it. I just think it's a little ugly. No offense to nether wart. Just not my favorite. Well, we were able to keep ourselves really safe in the nether, and we were really well protected, and so I'm feeling really good about ourselves. And so with our success in the nether, I want to try another project. I think before we move on with expanding this island a lot more, and while we're also on the quest for a zombie villager, why don't we also go on the quest for full diamond armor, weapons, and tools? Now, I know that sounds like a lot, but I have to fill up this 100-day video with content somehow. And so, let's get everything we need for a big mining trip so that we're prepared to get ourselves lots of diamonds. All right, so we've got ourselves food, a water bucket just to stay safe, some torches, some wood, 
and some tools, I think that's pretty much all we need for a successful mining trip. So let's take our boat and head north. So to get ourselves as many diamonds as we need, we will need 24 diamonds for a full set of armor. We will need 7 more for our pickaxe, axe, and shovel, but I've already got a diamond pickaxe, so that means we only need 4. So that's 28 plus 2 diamonds for a diamond sword, and then probably a few extra just for good measure. So we'll need to get ourselves about half a stack of diamonds. Which, if I'm being honest, isn't too much. We should be able to do that without too much of a problem. I think this map was made in 1.18 because we do have the increased world limit, where the world goes all the way down to Y level negative 64. But we do not have lush caves or dripstone caves, so we're pretty much on our own. And that unfortunately means no oxalotls, because I am in 1.19. But it's okay. Well, I've been scouting around for cave entrances, and I don't see any, so let's take a quick nap, and we will start our mining adventure. Man, I love being colorblind, and half the items in this game look like diamonds. Is this water or fog? Eh, I'm gonna take my chances. Oh... Oh, it's water. And there's diamonds! Oh, I didn't even see those. Oh. Yeah, take that. You too. Why not? This is like the fourth zombie spawner I found. I don't know what's going on. Well, well, at least it's not a zombie spawner this time. I've been getting so many golden apples from these chests. This is crazy. I, I'm I'm not mad. I'm not gonna complain. Maybe I should maybe I should shut my mouth. But i this is crazy. I love these mine chests. We still need like ten more diamonds, so there's a lot of exploring we need to do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's let's talk about this, boys. Oh, they tried. Ooh. Oh, it's only one diamond. Ooh, again. And it's only one diamond. Cave looks very, very safe, though I think exploring it for diamonds. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> okay. I was trying to make a funny joke, but uh well, first off, I'm not funny, so it wasn't going to work anyways. But what? Did I... <laughs> Where did these come from out of nowhere? This cave was half empty two seconds ago. Oh my gosh, just let me mine, please. Please leave me alone. I didn't do anything. I'm just trying to mine this cave, boys. Oh, baby. One like equals one less baby zombie in this universe. Let's eradicate them together. Ooh, that's a kind of pretty cool geo just hanging from the ceiling. Okay. I like that. Everything in Minecraft just looks ten times better with shaders. I'm sorry. I like vanilla Minecraft, don't get me wrong. Just shaders really add something special. Okay, let's grab this. Just one. Oh, it's two. Alright, well, after that we are at 35 diamonds, which is uh, pretty good, so... Let's try to head back to our house. I have no idea how far from our house we are because I've just traveled in different directions. But uh, thankfully I do have the coordinates of our house written down so we can probably just mine straight up to the ocean since it's a water only world and then head back home. Well, we are finally back from our insanely long mining trip. I actually decided to uh, raid a few shipwrecks on the way home and it only took me about four to realize that uh i had raided them all already so i just gave up and came back here but from the actual mining trip this is our collection i threw away pretty much all the junk blocks i just wanted the iron the gold and the diamonds of course were the main thing i was wanting thankfully once i got into a cave it wasn't too hard to find diamonds the main thing that took me a long time was just mining between these caves took a really long time and then it actually took me a couple days to get home. Okay, where can I find some sticks? So, let's do this. Heck yeah, look at that. I definitely don't have enough bookshelves to do any, any level 30 enchantments. So, uh, we're just gonna do simple level 1 enchantments for now. Like we usually do. Because it's better than nothing. Hey, I was able to get Protection 1 on the full set. Well, that little project took us a long time, but you know what? It was totally worth it. Because now we are so much stronger than when we started, and I feel a lot safer on this island. I was really scared about these creepers, because for some reason, 
This farm wants to spawn all these creepers and nothing else. So yeah, it took some time, but you know what? That was a really successful trip. I'm proud of all the progress we've made so far. Now, I think the next thing we need to do is we definitely need to do something about this tree island. As much as I love trees, unfortunately, we have to cut them down because this island platform we have for growing trees is, uh, it's not pretty. It's not that functional. And honestly, it's not even symmetrical. I hate these big trees when I can't find the last one or two logs just stuck right in the middle of the tree. Well, I think our first step should be getting rid of this platform. Ah, well, now that that's gone, the first thing I want to do is create a new area for a tree farm. Alrighty, well, here is the finished project for the trees. I actually like how this turned out. Uh, I might have to raise the dirt up a block because the leaves are kind of getting messy, but I wanted to organize having oak trees in the middle and spruce trees on the outskirts, just because the spruce trees tend to be a little bigger. I do also have saplings for acacia, jungle, and birch trees, but I really have no interest in any of those. But yeah, now we have a tree farm. Uh, I don't know if this is perfectly symmetrical, but I tried my best and I think it is. But you know what? When it's covered in trees, you can't even tell, so that's all that matters. Now, the next thing I want to do I think would be pretty cool. You know, all the life we have around here is just green. The tops of the carrots are green, the leaves are green, the trees are green. And I love green, don't get me wrong, but I think we could definitely benefit from some variance in color. So, I think what would be a really neat project is if we actually added a nether biome to the ocean. I think it's pretty fun contrast playing with the irony. You know, nether, which is typically just lava in the middle of an ocean. I think that'll look pretty cool. But what we can do is gather blocks from the various nether biomes and create small versions of those biomes in our island. Not exactly sure where I have room for that, but we could create a new island somewhere around here. Okay, so right here is the middle of this pathway and I think we could create it right in front of us here. This would be a good spot. The only reason I don't wanna do it over here is because if I'm taking any aerial footage from the replay mod or looking over this world, I feel like anything I built over here is just gonna be overshadowed by this like giant, ugly farm that literally casts a huge shadow on top of the ocean no offense to you mob farm i i love you you do a lot of good for me it's just you're kind of an eyesore but the trees look pretty in the middle of the ocean and so does my house and so i think we could have a big nether platform right here i'm gonna create my portal back here just so it's less of an eyesore but we have to go back to the nether now again uh because we need to collect some blocks actually i'm not gonna go just yet i want to make sure i'm prepared first but yeah, the basic plan is just to collect a few samples of each nether biome. We will have a warped forest, a crimson forest, nether wastes, and the soul sand valley all within one island. I think it should look pretty cool. If I'm really feeling it, maybe we'll even capture some mobs. I think the nether wastes is going to be the easiest because I pretty much only need to collect netherrack. I'll also get some lava buckets, but I didn't bring buckets with me since I can easily just come through the portal and do that later on. To make it less boring, instead of nether wastes, I might do the basalt delta biome. Or I could even do like a combination of nether wastes and basalt delta in one biome, just because those biomes are both just a little bit boring. Nothing against them, they just don't have cool trees, fungi, plants, and mobs like the other biomes do. Well, we have officially finished our nether biome. I'm really proud of how this turned out, but I made a big mistake when collecting resources. I had no idea you couldn't place things like crimson roots and fungi onto netherrack. I didn't realize you had to have the actual nylium block, which you can only obtain if you have silk touch. And unfortunately, not only do I not have silk touch, but I don't even have bookshelves for a full enchantment table. Regardless, I still worked with what I could. We have the warped forest here. I made a fun little tree for this. The crimson forest on the other side. We have the Soul Sand Valley, um, with an old relic of bones. Can you calm down? 
And then of course we have the Basalt Delta slash Nether Wastes with some fire scattered around this whole build, uh, just for some extra color. And the Shroom Lights for a light source. But yeah, this was a fun little project. And I think it's a really nice addition because everything else around here is just different shades of green. And so, it's nice to have, uh, something else for once. It is now time to start the hardest adventure of this series yet. I do not want to leave this world without having defeated the Ender Dragon. Thankfully, we already have a few Ender Pearls from spending our time in the Nether, but I don't have many, and I have absolutely no Blaze Powder. So, if we want to head to the end, we're gonna need some Eyes of Ender. Alright, I've got just about a stack of ender pearls here, so now I'm going to head back to the stronghold and get myself some blaze rods for blaze powder so we can turn these into eyes of ender and take on the dragon. Well, we've got the blaze powder, but I accidentally uh, used an ender pearl, so we're gonna have to get one more. Okay, well, let's uh, prepare ourselves with everything we need. Okay, here's what we've got ourselves. I have all the food I can muster because I don't have any carrots, some water buckets to keep myself safe, uh, we have our eyes of ender of course, and some ender pearls, and then some blocks in case we need to build up to the tower. I also did do a minimal enchantment on a bow because I don't have any bookshelves, but I wanted something, and I used some of the arrows I had from um, this farm from killing so many dang skeletons to fill myself up. So I think we should hopefully have everything we need to defeat the dragon direction should we start at northwest now uh i really don't know if uh this is gonna be the easiest fight normally i'm fighting the dragon with fully enchanted diamond or netherite armor especially in hardcore and i make sure i have the best enchantments but today we have pretty minimal enchantment and i also don't have an affinity on my bow it'll definitely be a bit of a challenge but i'm really excited to see what happens nope still this way oh okay we gotta go this way now I love these shaders, but I don't like how the sand is, like, blindingly bright and white. I can't even see anything. What about now? Nope. Oh, wait. I passed it. Okay, so that means it must be pretty close by. Let's actually just try to see if there's a cave here and go down into the ground and see if we can find it. Oh, yes! Here we have stone brick! Yeah, we made it! We made it! We just have to find the portal. Is there any good loot? Eh, what about this chest? Ooh, I'll take that. Okay, we've got to be close. I've been exploring this place for a long time. Oh. That was easy. Alrighty, well, here we stand. It's been a long adventure, but hopefully we don't lose this world. Okay, here we go, here we go. The absolute first thing we're going to do is fill the end up with water. This may seem weird, but I don't have slow falling potions, and not only will it help protect me from Endermen, but it'll help protect me from any potential fall damage. I'm literally just gonna place water all around the center area. I'm not gonna go overboard with it, but it definitely helps. Okay, I think I'm good for now. Let's try to get these towers. Dang, my aim is great today. Okay, two towers left. You know, I haven't seen or heard the dragon for a while. Um, where is the dragon? Did I break the dragon? Oh. For some reason, he's way out. Look at that. Do we see that? What's happening here? Can you guys see that he's all the way up there? Just not moving? Did I do something? I don't think I did anything. Maybe we're just so good at Minecraft that the dragon's terrified of us. So maybe I just need to break the tower? Huh. 
Maybe the water made the dragon afraid to land? Um... Uh... So, uh, there is an issue. I wanted to figure out what was going on, so I'm in a copy of the world here, and, um, at the world height, at Y level 256, there's just these weird invisible blocks that you can break, but for some reason they have trapped the dragon up here and have made it so that the dragon cannot get through. So, uh... So, we're gonna reset the fight to where we were before the dragon broke and see if we can get this to work. Well, I'm not sure what the problem is. I tried both reverting to an old backup of the world and re-downloading the original map, and in both cases, this same weird glitch is happening to the dragon. I'm not sure if the dragon was intended to be defeated on this map, so that may be the issue. Also, I believe the map was made on an older version of Minecraft, and I'm playing on a newer version. So, unfortunately, I will not be able to defeat the dragon. The downside is, I needed to defeat the dragon to move on to my plans. So, what we're going to do is give myself the dragon egg, but none of the XP for defeating the dragon since I didn't actually defeat it. And we're just going to assume I defeated the dragon because I said so. I think it's a good compromise because this isn't really my fault and <laughs> I don't know what to do. There's just this weird layer of barrier blocks that respawn after you break them. They just, they don't go away. Well, we're back in the end, so let's check for end cities because not only did I need the dragon egg, but I wanted an elytra and some end blocks for the next project. Oh, great. I, uh, I spawned on the roof of the nether this time. This, this map is great. Well, here's the portal, so here's where I would have spawned. I don't know what's going on. I'm just trying to finish this island, man, and, uh, oh. Well, at least we have an end city close by. But for real, I don't know why the map is glitching out like this. If anyone knows why this is happening, please, please let me know down below. This is kind of weird. I've never seen this before, and I've played on a lot of maps. But ah, we have ourselves an end city. So what we're going to do is collect what we can from this end city. And if there's an elytra, we're going to get that too. And also collect some end city block. I am also going to collect some shulker boxes for future projects, just in case we decide to continue this island past 100 days. If you guys would like to see 200 days in this world, or even maybe up to a thousand days, seeing what kind of challenges we face with limited resources, let me know down in the comments below. I'm asking for so many dang comments. Honestly, at this point, just write me a whole novel. I am going to college to be an English teacher, so you know what? I don't mind the reading. Ooh, there is a ship. How can I get over there? Oof. It was bad. You know what, I've got the golden apple, so let's eat one. Yes, we did it. And we have ourselves an elytra. With no firework rockets, of course. It really is a shame the end glitched out, because I was really excited for an intense ender dragon battle. But you know what, I guess we're not gonna have one today. Maybe I'll do 100 days in the end to make up for it. Whee! Okay, okay, let's slow down. Okay, I think we've got all the chests, so let's just collect some purper blocks. And end rods. Okay, so now that we're back, there's actually a reason I wanted to collect all of those end blocks. Just like we have ourselves a nether island here, I think it'd be really cool to make an end island. It would fit the theme of, you know, like the different dimensions. We kind of have the nether here. This could act as the overworld with the trees and the village house. And then, of course, we have the end. I did want to make a villager breeder during my time here, but unfortunately, we didn't get that, so we might do that later on. But for now, let's build ourselves a cool-looking end island, and it's also going to act as a place where we can store the dragon egg. Alright, we have officially finished our little end build, so let's do the finishing touch by placing the dragon egg on top of this piece of glass for our dragon shrine. And this officially completes our 100 days. So there we go. It was a wonderful adventure, but we have officially survived 100 days on a raft in Minecraft Hardcore. And maybe defeated the Ender Dragon? But, but we probably could have if the fight actually worked. But anyways, guys, that is all for this video today. As the sun sets behind us, we conclude this 100 days. Of course, if you want to see more of this world, let me know down below. Or if you have any other suggestions for any other fun 100 day videos, let me know. This was also my first time ever doing an official 100 days video. And so I tried my best, but I really hope you guys enjoyed. That is all for today's video. I really hope you all enjoyed. My name is Jay Wisp, and I will see you guys all in the next video.